Yeah, I watched the first episode last night and already completely hooked. <laughs> so, How did you um, the first episode? It's only September 2nd. Did you get special access? A little sneak, sneak preview, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Chandler, for, for people who have maybe never watched Days of Our Lives before, uh, do you think Days um, do you think Beyond Salem make, would make for a good introduction? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's great because it's, I mean, it can be a little intimidating, right, to jump onto a show that's been going for five plus decades. Um, but I think this is a great way. I, I, I think first and foremost, the people who already love Days are going to go nuts for this show. But um, people who, ha who haven't, this this would be, a, I feel like this is going to bring a lot of eyes to, to Days. Uh, and yeah, I think it's a great, great, like, you know, diving in point. And Zach, can you give us a little bit of a flavor of what people can expect uh, when they tune in for this five night event uh, on Peacock? Um, what can people expect? Um, granted, it was kind of my first time, too, because I didn't really have much experience with the, the day's world. Um, but just as someone who do dove into it, at least our storyline is just so different from because i did young and the restless it's so fun and out there and and wacky and like i i again it's hard to uh to hype it up because i can't say a lot of things that i want to say about the storyline but it's just so fun and interesting and like I, I think anyone who's new to the the soap world would enjoy our storyline for sure yeah. And what has it been like for you taking on such an established role? And did you look back at some of what Freddie Smith had done or would be trying to sort of just make it your own, really? Um, I kind of made, I mean, I so I had probably about three weeks from the time when I booked the role to um, when we started shooting uh, uh, a day. The day's wiki page was definitely my friend. Um, I wasn't able to watch any episodes. I, I, at the same time that I found I booked this, I was doing a, about a week on an, another Peacock show that hasn't, I guess the show has been announced, but the, the episode or whatever that I was in hasn't been announced yet. Um, but yeah, I, I did as much research as I can, but it was kind of the same thing that I did with Young and the Restless when I did Fen on that, which was just like, I, I did as much research as I could and I already kind of look like the guys. So casting did that part for me. And now I just do what I can do and hopefully people like it and go from there. Exactly. <laughs> well, and, and Charlie, you, you've been playing Will for about 11 years now. Um, wow. And six Emmy nominations, daytime Emmy, no, um, Emmy nominations, winning three of them. So <laughs> congratulations. So it's been quite a journey. Um, what has it been like for you sort of living with that character over such a long period and particularly, you know, portraying his journey as a, as a gay man? Um, well, it's been, you know, <laughs> almost half of my, I mean, no, a more than a third of my life. Uh, so a huge part of my existence on this planet. Um, <laughs> it's been great. I, I couldn't have asked for like a better character to like grow up with. Um, and it, it, I think it's helped me grow in so many ways, obviously as an actor, you know, just working that, that much and that consistently, but as a person kind of um, learning lessons through Will's eyes, uh, it, it's been great. <laughs> it's been great. Yeah, and, and why do you think um, it's important to have this kind of LGBTQ representation on a show like Days that goes into homes like, uh, across the country and, and also across the world as well? It's watched by so many people. I, I, think, I think that when anyone is gets a chance to either see themselves in another person or see something and experience something that they really that they they usually wouldn't be able to relate to otherwise. I, I think it's really valuable. Um, I, 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 I mean, I, I uh, have gotten so many letters over the years or tweets or like, you know, DMs about um, how like Will's, Will and, the Will and Sonny love story or Will's coming out story, like help them, you know, communicate with family members or, uh, help other people understand what they went through. 
And I think that's like the power of, of stories in general, right? It, it, it helps people relate to one another and have more empathy and, and love. Um, so. And Zach, I know you're, you're, you're new to days, but um, you mentioned the uh, Young and Restless. And of course you, you were daytime um, Emmy nominated for that as well, we should, we should mention. <laughs> um, what kind of um, feedback have, have you had or, or sort of memorable encounters maybe with um, viewers of the show? Um, obviously people get very invested in the storylines. Right. Well, I was going to say, yeah, it's, it's an amazing uh, dedication. I had a woman who would tweet at me after every episode and like, chastise me but like as if I were the character be like I can't believe you did x y and z and I was like I'm I it's not me I didn't make the choices um but um it's a it's you know these shows are, are such legacy shows I mean um when I was on the show we had we had cast members who were celebrating their 45th anniversary on the show which is like I mean, twice as, almost twice as long as I've been alive. So um, I know how much these shows mean to people, which is even more so why I feel like, you know, it's important to do them justice, you know, and come into these roles and, and do the roles justice. And um, yeah, I, I feel like I totally <laughs> lost where I was going with that thought, but. No, well, like you said, because they mean so much to, they do mean so much to people. Yeah. Um, and especially because it is something, I think it's a bit different to, you know, going out to see a movie out of your home in, you know, in a theatre, especially because you, you live with these characters, you know. I was going to say, yeah, they're part of your life almost, because you're, yeah. especially some people, it's like every morning you wake up and you watch this. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's not like one of those shows where it's like, oh, it's once a week. It's like it's five days a week you see these faces on your screen. And Chandler, people will have seen from the trailer for Beyond Salem that there's kind of some trouble in paradise uh, between Wilson. <laughs> um, what um, do you enjoy? Do you really enjoy those sort of more dramatic scenes when you know the tension is re is very high? Are those some of the most fun scenes to play in a way? Yeah, of course. I'm a dramatic person, so. I invite all kinds of drama into my life. Um, you know, I think uh, I, I think it, it's great. It just keeps things fresh, right? Will uh, I think we have a great balance of highs and lows, like charge scenes and happy scenes. And um, usually, when there's conflict, uh, it's you know there's a story, right? It's interesting. Uh, no one wants to watch a, a, a happily married you know couple <laughs> it's just boring so so yeah and um people will have also seen from the trailer and it made a bit of a, a splash in the news that uh, darius rose aka uh, jackie cox from rupaul's drag race um is appearing uh in beyond Salem. did you um have a scene with jackie and uh, what would she like to work with if you if you did uh zach yeah yeah you want to take this one um uh yeah we were we were in a scene uh, I don't know how much we can say. Um, uh, well, there, there, I'm, I know there's a um, there's a picture courtesy of like EW Entertainment Weekly that like right, has, right, I saw that one. You're in the same what? frame, which we gave me the hint. You probably did one. <laughs> yeah, I saw that photo, and everyone in the scene is looking in the same direction except for me, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, of course, that's the photo <laughs> I choose. Where I look like I'm person, no one else thinks. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, we're in scenes with her. Um, uh, we don't have much interaction, like speaking with her. We're kind of watching her interaction with, with, uh, uh, Lisa. Uh, yeah. yeah, with Lisa, um, which was kind of fun, you know, when you get a scene where you're just kind of in the background and watching the other actors act. <laughs> um, but, but, but we got to, you know, be in scenes with her. So. And were either of you drag race fans uh, going into this at all? This year, a friend, my friend Evan turned me on to it. And I, I knew what like the drag competitions were and stuff, but I didn't realize how, like, I was like, oh my God, they're all so talented. Like, I didn't realize like there's the acting and then there's the singing and then there's the performing. I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is, takes real talent. Um, like, it's not just, oh, you put on a cot, like, it's like a, a big thing. Um, and I just kind of became hooked on it after that. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm in. 
I'm all in on this. Yeah, I, mean, I just want to echo that. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I didn't have much knowledge or experience, but that this that, that this show has has helped me, it given me like a much greater appreciation for what what it takes. And I just wondered, because um, Days have been has been going for so many years. Was it a show that you grew up with? It sort of um, on in your you know family household as as you were growing up. Not me. Um, television. My parents always said was the voice of the devil. <laughs> so we just had to. We all we just had to read um, the Old Testament over and over whenever we tried to watch TV. So, what about you, Zach? Really? <laughs> no. I, know, I was like, geez. Um, uh, yeah. N- but I didn't uh, watch Days. <laughs> no. uh, Days wasn't on in my house. Uh, my aunt is a big uh, 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 soap person, but I didn't live with my aunt. Um, no, but but uh, but I knew what it was. I feel like everyone knows. Everyone knows Young and the Restless. Everyone knows Days. Every like, they're just like names that people know. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was always aware what they were, uh, but but they, I didn't grow up with them in my household. And, and now you're both a big part of it. Well, it's great to chat to you about it. People have got a lot to look forward to if the first episode is anything to go by. <laughs> so Zach, Chandler, thanks very much. Thank you, James. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye.